Welcome back to the latest episode of The Laura and Becky Show. So we were radio presenters. We did a breakfast radio show together, but we got the sack. So we flew off to Mallorca for a few days. We got very drunk and we decided to start this podcast. We are now sponsored by Prince Family Law Solicitors, Red Brick Estate Agents, and we're in collaboration with East Midlands Airport. That's what we didn't say yesterday. What was that? We're turning on East Midlands Airport Christmas lights. Oh my God, how could we forget that? How could could we forget so we are basically doing three different sets of christmas lights yeah. this year which is very exciting and yeah. we're very excited to do east mids i actually think from your birthday onwards so the 11th of november no that's not your birthday that's your my party, birthday weekend your party's on the 11th you are yeah yeah no yeah why are you looking at me like <laughs> i don't why know did you say that? that's my birthday weekend <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right becky <laughs> well you'll know it's your birthday it's 40 it's a weekend i'm gonna string it out <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Christmas. That's it for me. Yeah. That's it. That's when oh, Mariah comes out. Talking about <laughs> that'll be the first of November, mate, won't it? She yeah. always does it. Yeah. Um really annoyingly, you know, all these people on like social media get sent these bloody advent calendars mm-hmm. like YSL. Dior. And, yeah, all of them. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> If anyone wants to send us one, please do. I'd love one of them. But oh my God, so like, nice. Oh my God, look at this. I've got set this, maybe a bit. And then they open them all. And I'm like, well, now I know what's in it. Yeah. And also open it on each day. Open it on each day. Yeah, do it and properly. Also, why are you getting it now? It's not even the first. I'm a little bit confused about all of that. Mind you. What? We'd probably open all the yeah. doors. Do, can you imagine if we got sent a nice Dior oh, one? Right, we, there's no way we go. Oh, I'll wait till tomorrow to see what's in door number two. We'd open them all. This is definitely a new thing, though. These mm. these advent calendars, I think, are like what three, four years they've been doing these. It's definitely a new thing, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, if we get oh, sent God. one, I'm here for if it. If you were, could have any one, what would you have? I know what I'd have. If any Ooh. company could send you an advent calendar. What would it be? I, I quite like a Joe Malone one. Yeah, I will I say white company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like candle scents, that kind of oh, thing. They do them, I think. Yeah, it would be a jewellery one. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, Dior one would be nice. Dior YSL. Yeah, fetch of those. Fair. We'd take yeah. anything, cho- wouldn't If we? someone sent us a bloody chocolate one, we'd be cock a hoop, we would, <laughs> wouldn't we? <laughs> um, it's Halloween today as well. It is. I've got to take Lily um, trick-or-treating this evening. Um, well, actually, weirdly, Zara, who we seem to talk about every single day on this podcast now, um, she's coming over for some food this evening, but she's also going to have to come out trick-or-treating. Oh, she, oh God. Yeah. She'll be wild. Yeah, Zara. so she, she's going to have to get dressed up and come with me to take my child trick-or-treating. I do like trick-or-treating. I like being the house that all the kids knock on. I'm, I've done the trick-or-treating mm. thing. But do you know what really annoys me? Go on. When those little shits... Grab a handful and you think, oi. Greedy. Just one. Yeah. yeah. Just one. Yeah. So last year I just started putting like really crap stuff in the bowl. Like um, I had some McDonald's sauce thing. Stop. You didn't put Yeah, I thought, well, if you're going to grab it, you can <laughs> shut off. That. that. Yeah. <laughs> it really annoy- that really annoys me. And then when they're rude, and their mum's have to be like, did you say thank you? And I'd be like, no, he didn't. Yeah. No, he didn't. I like it when they come out earlier, so I don't like a late trick-or-treater. I mean, really, the cut-off point for me is at like half seven, eight o'clock. If anyone oh. starts knocking, then I don't no. really answer the door. But I don't mind the whole, like, 5.30 little kids oh, that have so just finished cute. school. It is, yeah, it is cute. Teenagers that just stood there in, like, a black hoodie, like, no. trick-or-treat, you're like, get lost absolutely not well then my trick what are you gonna do what are you gonna do <laughs> my mum used to have a sign up she was a bit of a scrooge when it came to halloween she had a sign up in her house being like we don't like Go trick or treaters here. yeah <laughs> and after she's been like mum that's so rude then she'd turn all the lights off the curtains would be closed <laughs> there's always a, a house on the street that's just you know yeah i think you know the ones not to go to well, because you- these days if they're decorated yeah. You know you can go there. If it's not decorated and the yeah. lights are off and there's a sign in the door saying, don't come in, don't yeah. go there. I, I'm not going to lie, this is the first year I've not even carved a pumpkin. Nothing. Nothing at all. I feel a bit bad, actually. Um, I haven't either, but I find it a bit of a pain doing all that. I've declared fireplace, but I can't be. A, I hate pumpkin carving. I do. I hate it. It takes ages. I've got one pumpkin, um, but it's not carved. It's just on my doorstep. I just plonked it there. <laughs> Just, I haven't done anything to it. Although on TikTok, I did watch this thing and I thought, oh, 
That's good. So it was this lady, and out of the pumpkin, she carves like little fairy houses and makes like little doors, little windows, puts a little candle in so it lights up. Very You're cute. You're going to do that? No, yeah. God, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Who's got time to do that? I don't know, but it, did, it looked quite nice. Hey, when um, I took Lil back home to see um, the family and the boyfriend, this was last weekend, I think. And we did a Halloween thing, right? So we went pumpkin picking, um, which was really good. And <laughs> I didn't realise this was going to happen, right? So after you've like picked the pumpkins, you go to this little place where there's like, you can get burgers and things and you can get a beer or whatever to have some music on. And then there's kind of like a Halloween experience. So it's like a load of bales sort of put together and you walk through this kind of like maze in these woods and then there's real life actors that are there that oh, kind of like amazing. jump out on you. But I didn't realise these real life actors were going to be there. Anyway, bless Lil. There was a clown. Is it Chucky or what's his oh, name? Um, it? Yes. Whatever. Him. Um, Terrifying. Pennywise. 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 Oh, isn't he McDonald's? No. Have what? we had this conversation before? Isn't he Ronald McDonald? No, no Becky. Pennywise is from... It's like nothing to do with McDonald's. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I thought that was his original name. Well, Pennywise but, was yes. the clown in McDonald's. The family <laughs> fast food chain. Which one's Pennywise? Ronald McDonald is McDonald's. Right, hang on. Pennywise <laughs> is the clown that eats children from It. It's like, don't think the correlation there quite works. Where have I got that from? I'm just going to Google Pennywise. Just... Oh, no, that's definitely not what I wanted to put oh, into there. Hang on, God. something else has come up then. Um, Penny Wise, bear with, guys. Oh, I, mean, I can't even oh, believe Oh, him to... with the big forehead. Right, yeah, basically it looked like him. Right. Not so Ronald it wasn't McDonald. Ronald McDonald nope, throwing not him. nuggets at no. you. <laughs> That'd be great, Although, wouldn't it? Although, that would scare me a bit. If there was a scary Ronald McDonald running about, I'd be a bit... Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, there is something about clowns, isn't there? They're just yeah. quite scary. So... This guy was sort of walking around and I've never seen Lily so terrified in all of her eight years. Oh, God. <laughs> she was, she lost it. Well, I would have. I would have. She, she was crying was her eyes children's out. attraction? Well, yeah, there were kids there. So he started walking around and Uncle Dick came with us as well. And this clown started going up to Uncle Dick and I think that's what really scared Lil. And she was like, ah! And she was literally, she lost it. She was running off. Man. I was like, Lily, stay by me. Because he was literally wandering around. And I thought, she's going to run bang into him. <laughs> anyway, so then he kind of like, this Pennywise guy, <laughs> he disappeared into the experience, right? So I left Lily with my mum and Uncle Dick. And I went, I'm, I'm going to go in there. I was really scared, but you I really to wanted it. to do it. I wanted to put myself out my comfort zone. I'm turning 40 yeah, in a couple man. of weeks. Yeah. I thought, right, <gasps> come on. Pennywise who? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me and my brother and my brother's girlfriend went in mate you know when you're at school and you cannot stop laughing you literally cannot stop and you cry you know that yes, feeling you get yeah. so we were walking through and me and my brother we got to like the end bit and Pennywise was yeah. there me and my brother both we grabbed each other and we were like a pair of kids we no. were both pushing each other towards this camera we we could not stop laughing we were doubled over crying like tears streaming down our faces trying to push each other into this clown it was one of the funniest moments I've had for a long time what um what was the clown doing he was going <laughs> Ew. He was like coming towards us, but making weird growling noises. And then actually, I wasn't too bothered. I was a bit like, oh, this is a bit, you know, it's not that Imagine scary. doing that job. Imagine I'd quite like a, it. I would quite like get, being a Pennywise. I'd get bored. After a while, I'd be like, you, me and you, if we're, oh, it would be fun the first two times. Yeah. Then we'd be like, we'd look at each other and be like, oh, God. I okay. find it a little bit scarier if they remain still. And they don't Cause, move. Yeah. Because like, when they're moving, you're a bit like, oh, right, I know where he is and what yeah. he's doing. But if they're still... You don't know what they, they're going to do. And you're almost waiting. It's the anticipation, Also, isn't you're it? the biggest scaredy cat I know. I am. So I'm quite proud of you for going going through. Mate, I'm going to tell you about something else I did on another pod this okay. week that you're going to be impressed with. Hey, well done. I mean, I'm just letting loose, aren't I? <laughs> uh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, okay. Now this is very exciting. Probably just for me. <laughs> Not much for you because you don't watch it. But at the moment, I don't think there's... Very good TV on. Oh, here she is at Zara. She, she, they've just, she just messaged me. Oh. Um, anyway, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has just started. I still haven't watched this properly, oh but God. you've been trying to get me into this for ages. It's so good. It's so good. I can't believe you don't watch it. It's I'm so it. good. Anyway, Molly and Jules, mm -hmm. um, 
watch it as well. They're obsessed. So Jules was messaging me going, it started, it started. So anyway, um, I was watching it. Anyway, Molly got a screenshot when she was watching it, put on Insta, one of the housewives shared her story. No Dorit. way. Dorit. It was Dorit. Dorit's one of the housewives. Right. Like one of the best ones. Right. But they're all good. Shared Molly's story. That's big. Uh, <laughs> big? I, I couldn't believe it. I, I literally couldn't believe it. She's like, ah, oh. and Molly was quite casual about it. I was like, Molly, yeah. Dorit, hang on a minute. I shared your story. <laughs> Oh my god! It's so the the drama this season is just you know they do like coming up on this season. I was like, <laughs> where would one start? So for a newbie to uh, the, I, the Real Housewives, well, if you start from the beginning, it is years old. It's probably like ten years ago, so it looks a little bit old, but it's mm. still good, mate. They've got Lisa Vanderpump in it, but then she's not in it anymore. I'd start from the beginning, but if you Beverly can't Hills. be asked, yeah, yeah, start midway through. You'll pick it up, okay? Yeah, but it's good. All right. Yeah. But you Maybe that'll be my thing of the winter. Watch it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. It. Also, I'm a celeb start soon. When is it? Is it no- November, isn't it? Mm. That starts, we mentioned this before, The Crown as well. So there's some really good Who's stuff. Who's the woman that plays Diana in The Crown? Because she's oh. unbelievable. But all the Dianas they've had are quite good, aren't mm-hmm. they? But she, she looked like her, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, May. Right, May. Okay, so... Me and my TikTok, okay? It's a machine. <laughs> it's a, a machine. well-oiled machine. Oh, my God. Um, it's it's an effort, right? It takes up a lot of time. But I, I'm quite liking it at the moment. I'm into it. I'm there. Well, I've got nothing else to do because you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I'm like, right, I might as well just do this. Also, it's like Christmas time, isn't it? So you're getting into the Christmas clothes. There are cl- there are a lot of clothes out there, okay? So I'm going to try like, <laughs> it's my first Christmas doing this kind of thing. But I, I've realised, and this is for anyone out there, if you want to sell something, get yourself on social media and just start. Because, yeah, well, on TikTok, because right? Because people buy, okay? That's all I'm saying, right? <laughs> so, anyway, I did a TikTok a couple of weeks ago of some sequin trousers in Marks & Spencer's. I saw and it. it. all went a little bit nuts, right? So I thought, right, I'm going to get on the, the Christmas party thing. So my thing is, is like buying clothes that you wear again and again yeah? yeah so it's like good for the environment capsule wardrobe all of that yada 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 okay so i was like well how am i going to get around this because i don't want to yeah you know, everyone's like you're promoting fast fashion and all of that and i don't want to do that but i'm so i'm like okay we're going to go for christmas outfits that you wear year on year and you look forward to getting out and yeah. wearing again and so sparkles you would right yeah. and also you can wear sequins in the summer i love a se- silver sequin in the summer that's what i'm going for okay <laughs> there, that's my pitch betty yeah. I, right? I, like, I like when christmas jumpers in the summer okay <laughs> i always wear a christmas jumper in the summer <laughs> so i thought right i'm gonna do some christmas party outfit ideas from each different company right yeah. so i'll do so i thought i never usually shop at next now don't use next on my tiktok because i don't get any commission because mm-hmm. they're not on all this other stuff but i thought no I'm, i had a look mate they've got some banging Have stuff they? oh my god right 750 pounds worth of clothes i ordered for my tiktok obviously so I'm to try to take on it back mm-hmm. yeah you don't obviously keep the clothes you take them back <laughs> but it's a, it works both ways it works for next it works for me right Great. everyone's happy so the next near me near us in chairs got flooded two weeks ago yes. closed completely closed so the nearest one is about five miles away that retail park, whoever designed it, needs sacking because you cannot get into that retail park when it's mm. busy. It's mm-hmm. so bad. Yeah. So anyway, on Friday, I'm going about my business in the morning, get an email <laughs> from Next. Your parcel is ready to collect. I was like, oh, brilliant. That's great. I'll go and get it later on in the day. Anyway, later on in the day comes, I then get a text going, thank you for collecting your parcel. Oh, no. And you hadn't collected it. No. <gasps> and it was £750. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, Panic I, stations. I, I just stared, stared at my phone and I was like, have I collected it? Uh, and I just thought, oh my God, I haven't collected it. Some, and how Someone has gonna... taken off with 750 quids worth of your next Christmas clothing. And how am I going to prove it wasn't me? What have they got? And I was like, they have to get the CCTV and I have to be like, well, that's not me. Yeah, some bugger has, t- has got my parcel. So I, I literally went on the next website, got their contact info, rang next, got some guy, I don't know where he was, but I, I was like, I haven't got my parcel. And he's like, oh, you're going to have to go in store. I was like, oh God, obviously can't pop to the one in Chesterfield. So I had yeah. to drive to St. James's thinking, ah. I'm now 750 pounds in debt. <laughs> For some clothes you haven't even got. So what happened? Well, 
So oh. queued for like eight minutes to get in the bloody retail park. Anyway, got into next. No one there to talk to. So I was just like, I need someone. I need someone to help me. Found this woman. <laughs> I was like, listen, it says I've collected a parcel. I, I was 100 miles an hour. And she went, okay, don't panic. Just go <laughs> to the children's desk. Speak to someone there and they'll sort it. So I anyway, walked up to the children's desk. I went, hello. And she went, you're Laura Ives. And I literally just stopped in my tracks. <laughs> and I just thought... Well, I am. I was. I, I can be. That's your maiden name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'll be whoever you want me to be if you just give me my parcel. And I went, oh, yeah, because I haven't changed my name on my next account. Yeah. I went, I am. She went, I've been calling your name for about four hours. What? So some woman. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happened is someone's arrived and now you put the code in and they bring out your parcel. Right. So all that has happened was someone has put my code in by mistake but if they do that, Next automatically think you're there collecting yeah. your parcel. So but they went, didn't I've, give it away? No, she said, I kept oh. out going, Ives, Laura Ives. <laughs> and she was like, everyone was just stood there staring at her. But she <gasps> thought it was such a big order. She didn't want to just... Yeah. So she went, yeah, for the last four hours, she's been sporadically going out going, Laura Ives. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. Thank God, though, somebody didn't take off with it. That would have been So I said to awful. her, Linda, how do you <laughs> cope with this? And when it happens all the time, we get phone calls all the time, people panicking. People they need to change in. their system. This system ain't working. Mate, they do, because that, that was... Well, that's good. a panic, that. Isn't it's enough to give you a, a panic attack? Yeah. Well, isn't it? yeah. Yeah. So anyway. So you got your clothes. I've got the clothes. When can I've we expect done, to see the video. them? When's it going on? Well, what I've done, Becky, is I've split it into three different videos. Oh, right? I see. So we've got the opening of the packages, yeah, <laughs> and then I've got it. If you want me to try it on, comment below. <laughs> Already filmed that, though. Get your money's worth That's out what, of it. Yeah, filmed the trying on, then I've done one to music, yeah? <laughs> Spreading out the content. <laughs> we can't wait to see. Are you on the edge of your seat? I'm on the edge of my seat, yeah, mate. My £750 worth. Yeah. So if you want to buy one, <laughs> click on the link on my bio.